1 Maccabees chapter 2 and verse 50. Now therefore, my sons, be zealous for the law and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. First and foremost, let me give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shad, Bashem, Rakhakadash, the Ba'anas to the elders and the apostles that do well overseeing the tabernacle of David, which are the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Greetings and salutations to you, Akim, upon the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shad, in truth and in sincerity. <clears throat> we are a couple of the uh, young uh, disciples out of the command of Great Millstone Atlanta Church, coming at you with a fiery lesson of exhortation and edification through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. Lord willing, uh, we bring forth fruit. All right, now this lesson will be regarding uh, the term fire, the term may I focus. All right, uh, now we're supposed to be, as the apostles say, on fire in this thing, man. What does it mean to be on fire? Well, David said, I made haste. What does it mean to be on fire? To be animated, all right? To, to be consistent, all right? To be a, a light, a Luciferian on the right-hand side, man, all right? The scripture says, ye are the light of the earth, all right? And how do we display that light? By magnifying our Heavenly Father through the ordinances, the, which the ordinances in the heavens are light, correct? Right. Light by day and light by night, all right? Through the ordinances of the Heavenly Father, which are the law, statutes, and commandments, all right? Which is that tree of life. Um, now, if we may, brother, let's get that term focus in the edomonline.com, Baba Koshat, to get further edification. Karn, uh, this is the word focus. It says 1640s, point of convergence. Convergence, point. That's a, well, that's, that's a, 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 a you no, know, a point meaning a signet area of convergence. Now, let's get that term convergence, Baba Kusha. Con. Oh, this is convergence. Convergence, mm -hmm. he says. Uh, the state or process of converging, the convergence... Uh, get, the, um, get the conversion definition, Baba Kusha. Uh, it says mm -hmm. a location. Wait, no, that's, that's it's like showing me biology. Yeah, because it's different formats of the word. Get the get Marian the word. Webster. Yeah, as a matter of fact, yeah, get the Merriam because that's gonna have now get get convergent. Oh, um, yeah, get convergent. A uh, convergent. Mm -hmm, in the definition format. It says, uh, tending to move toward one point or to approach each other. Tending to move toward one point or approach each other. As we were just speaking, the uh, Hebrew for the term church is kwara'a, which means assembly. Also meaning to call out. All right. And what are we calling out? The words of the Heavenly Father. That's the fire. That's the animation. And when we call the words out, or when we, pardon me, when we speak the words, what? It draws us together. And that's the reunification of the tabernacle of David. That is the establishment of the cosmos or the cosmos, as you want to put it, of the kingdom of heaven. You know, the world that God so loved and that he, he had the audacity and he indeed did, gave his only begotten son, man. 19... 69, his promise was made sure. All right? And we are the fruit. Look, obviously the seed was organic. Obviously the seed was legitimate. Non-GMO. Non-GMO. And these people who are taking that serum, that these, uh, the, the foundation, the chai of the charagma, the foundation of the you-know-what, man, these people are GMO babies, man. Right. These people are illegitimate. These people are fraudulent. And they hate us. And they're going to try to cast us out. They, those who fear the Lord, they're going to try to cast us out of the houses, man. And see, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is going to bestow unto us power to deal with you wisely, man. We are going to get those capabilities. And what? That's that fire. That's that spirit. But in order to maintain those powers, what do we have to do? 
we must maintain focus. We must maintain discipline. We must maintain character. We must maintain humility. For the term humility uh, coming from humble in the Hebrew, aina, which also means to answer, to testify. That's that calling out. That is that verbiage, that linguistics that Mashiach has bestowed upon us. And we're not going to meditate on what we shall speak in that hour. Go ahead, bro. It's more than that. Um, go back to that focus. And then um, we're going to get some precepts in. I know you hold something on deck, too. Kind of uh, focus. Mm -hmm. It says, um, from Latin, focus, hearth, fireplace. Fireplace. Fire. A, 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 dom a domicile fire. A fire of the dormitorio, of the house. Not just a fire, but a fire. See, this is the temple of the Most High God, man. Right. This is that burnt offering that was put in toast with uh, myrrh and frankincense. A sweet savior to the Heavenly Father. In fact, I forgot to put that frankincense on them coals, man. <laughs> Got into the spirit of things. All right? But now we what? We sacrifice with our conduct and our anastrophe. Huh? Our holy conversation. Conversation. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. Kind of, it says, also figuratively, mm -hmm. home. Home. Family. Home. Fe home. Ba wada, the house of David. The, the tabernacle of David. That's the home. That's the family. Who is the fire? Who is the light? I am the light. That's Mashiach. I'm speaking in his content. Yahweh Shah is the light. He is that, he is that, that bright, uh, vibrant, uh, illuminated essence that dwells within inside of us. For ye are the temple of the Most High God, man. All right? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has bestowed unto us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And that is the manifestation of the light that is dwelling within us. It's him. It's not us. It's not our own works. Yahweh Bashim Yahshah has put us a step ahead of these people, man. All praises. Go ahead. Khan, it says, which is, uh, which is of unknown origin, uh, used in post classical What is his time. name and what, not uh, unknown origin. What is his name and what is his son's name, if thou can tell? Hmm? Go ahead. Used in post classical times for fire. Fire. Itself taken by uh, Kepler. Which fire? Which, we, let's, let's deal with the term ashes. We know in the Hebrew the term for fire is um, ash. Ash, ash, yep. Which the ashes is, it comes from the fire, but what is the ashes? The ashes is humility. Right, yep. The ashes is the, it's the lowly, the meachlin here of the earth. Of life. The, the, the ashes, the fire, but it comes with what? That, that. That I not, that testimony, to answer, to testify, as it says. Also, I not meaning to be humble. They coincide. You can't receive the glory. You can't receive the preeminence. You can't be that light that shines upon the top mountain, the Tazayan one with shiny place, as, as it says in the lexicon of the blue letter. We can't be that unless we go through the straight gate. Unless we sacrifice for Yahweh, this man took the cross. The king, the champion. He suffered for us, for our sakes. For his sake were we stricken. For, for, uh, for our sakes was he stricken, man. As Isaiah spoke. Matter of fact, since you said that, um, yes, go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to uh, get this, this quick. Uh, Absolutely. Up. And you break it down now. Break it down. Um, let me see. I can get it for you too if you, if you want me to get it. It's, and you can break it down. It's in uh, Matthew 16 and 24. Yeah, since, since you mentioned uh, what, how much I had to go through. I got you. This is the book of Matthew, cha chapter 16, verse 24. And it reads <clears throat> Then said Yahweh Shah unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Right. So when it says let him deny himself, that's pretty much saying deny the, this world. All right. That also uh, coincides with the scripture that says 
uh, hate, hate your, the ones that hate their lives in this world. Mm. All right, roughly paraphrasing. So pretty much to put off uh, the mortal clothing. Right, right. All right, and put on the immortal. Mm. All right, we have to uh, deny ourselves. That's why we're a sacrifice. Right. When we go on the highways and byways, we're sacrificing our time. All right, when we do the lessons, we're sacrificing our time, our, our energy. We're risking our, our lives. Yep. But he that, he that saved his life to lose his life. Right. But he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. And it reads, verse 25, for whosoever will save him. <laughs> this is fear. This is fear. <laughs> God, God. Verse 25, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Hmm. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. So the first part says, whosoever shall save his life shall lose it. All right, and that's that's the majority of people in the world, man. No integrity. All right, the, the, uh, giving up uh, salvation. All right, to to, to 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 stay in this place. Wow. All right. Meanwhile, the fashion of this world passes away. Right. That's why the scripture says, "Remember Lot's wife." Right. Because she she looked back. She was trying to keep. She she wanted to stay uh, in, in this world, man. Yeah. And were in the world back then, which was uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Yep. Which she, we in Atlanta right now. We in Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. So it's the same thing to this day, man. All right. And then the second part says, uh, can you read the second part? Come. Um, um, repeat. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and it reads, whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. So like the brother said, we're risking our lives doing this, do, doing this work, doing this ministry of Yahweh Bashim Yah Shah. We're risking our lives, man. Yeah. Because these, these devils are after us, man. Yeah. All right, the, the rules of the darkness of this world. Yeah. But we, at the end of the day, though, we're going to find, find our life. Mm -hmm. by, by, by losing our life in this world, we're going to find our life. And it's going to be real life. It's going to be everlasting life. Mm -hmm. All right, that's what this, this leads to, man. That's what the straight gate leads to. Right. We have to uh, bear our cross. Right. Okay? Which is, is, is this, this, uh, this truth. That's, that's bearing our cross. Doing what we got to do, man, as a man. As a man of, of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Right. But yeah, yeah that was, was that it? Was there any more? Come. Verse 26. For what is a man profited if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Hmm. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul. Right. And a lot of uh, uh, Israelites, the so-called Black Suspense and Native Americans, a lot of Israelites have, have, have uh, lose, lose their, have uh, sold their soul, all right, to gain the world, all right? And, and, and that's not a good thing, man, because at the end of the day, that, that's a corruptible problem. That, that's not going, this world is, is going to pass away, as the brother uh, made mention of, all right? This world will not, uh, last forever. All right. Uh, can we get that? Um, what scripture says? Uh, store your, your treasure in heaven. Is that Matthew twenty? What it says where neither moth nor rust corrupt. Let's see. Is that Matthew twenty? Twenty one. If not, I'll look it up. Yeah, look it up real quick. Yeah. Yeah, I can read it for you too. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, this is. Oh, it's Matthew 6. Oh, okay. This is Matthew 6. Matthew I, got, 6. I got it for you. I can read it for oh, you. Bro. I got it right here. Okay, go uh, Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth mm -hmm. where moth and rust doth corrupt. What are treasures on earth? The American dollar, hmm. your houses, your cars, your designer clothes, your food, your families, and you know, having an abundance of women and you know, having you know, vehicles of comfortability. Right, being a being, uh, scene of men. On social media, that's that's the treasure too to some people. Pride, right? He said, "Don't, don't take heed to that. Don't prioritize that. 
you want to have women, you can have women, but don't put that, don't prioritize that woman and compromise yourself for that woman over your how about she now shot. Right. Yeah, you can have money. All things are lawful for me, all things are not expedient. You know? You say I will not be brought under the bondage of any, I be prepared for it. Uh, we're the servants. I my We're the servants. No, why? Of the servants of Yahweh Bashinao Shah. And it's imperative that we conduct ourselves after that manner. He expects and demands nothing less. Is this not the Son of God we're talking about? Is this not the champion of the earth, of the universe, of all ions, King of kings, Lord of lords? Is this not the greatest honor we have been bestowed and a by grace, not by our own works? And he can deal with us wisely at any moment. So examine yourself whether you be in the faith. And that's that fire. That fire is that light, that light, that light which allows you to examine. Check the spectrums. Go ahead. Huh, it says, uh, I'll read from the top. It says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt. The missiles are going to eat up. Whatever you got in America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles in a couple of months to, uh, you know, like we're talking. No, yes, it's not a question about it. Yes, it's absolutely going to be very, very soon. Right, the near future, not the far future. Because what these young men don't realize, they're not counting up correctly. Because they're not measuring the time diligently. And it's up, you know, you're not measuring the time, but you don't got the fire, you don't got the light. You're not focused. You're not focused on what's taking the place. The prophecies are speaking. And we, we quoted so many times because I has kept the word of my patience, which is doing the work. Said I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Ora ton pirmosos. Moment of piercing. Moment of trial. Wait a minute. Moment of pirmosos. Piercing. That's what it means. Mm. Moment. And then the next verse says, Behold, I come quickly. Showing you that it's not no gap period where Moab gets to, to rain and push at uh, rat eating all over the earth, man. Right. That's, we're not in that hour. It's not the time for the Soviets for fucking Stalin to get reincarnated and do some more carnage, huh? <laughs> no. Have you not seen the vision of the feet which were dashed to pieces by a great stone? And that stone being Yahweh by Shemiah, she to be exact, and his elect man. Thou art my battle axe, weapons of war. For with thee shall I break in pieces the nations, man, as the, the, um, the image was broken in pieces. From the Assyrian, the wings were broken, all right? The, you know, you got so many images of different, you know, trying not yeah. to... Go ahead, bro. Oh, uh, it says, and where thieves break through and steal, mm -hmm. but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. That's the spirit of things. That's the, that's the humility, man. That's a, the refraining from them demons. And not being conquered, but being a conqueror. These many men have taken many domains. They've taken land. They've established empires. They've gone on great campaigns. They've done blitzkrieg. But how many of the men could say they conquered their inner self, their character, their own demons? How many of them could say, O oh, death, where is thy sting? Go ahead. Yeah, if I could add to what you just said, that, that's one of our greatest enemies as well. Ourselves. As uh, Elder Apostle Gabar uh, says, when you look in the mirror, you're, you're looking at your, your worst enemy. Mm. All right, this flesh. Okay? But through the spirit of power, you have by Shai. Ultimately, we're going to overcome the flesh. Wow. Just like Yahweh Shai did. Yeah, he did. We're going to be glorified just like Yahweh Shai. It Great. says that in Philippians uh, 3 and 21. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, but reading on, it says, um, where thieves, oh, it's lucky I read that. 
It says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moss nor rust doth corrupt. That's the good works of the heavenly Father, keeping these commandments and these ordinances. You know, not being justified by him. I myself can never be justified by him. But justified in faith, justified in predestination, if we be of that number, obviously. Those of us who are still standing, it's a lot have fallen. It's a lot that have, you know, corrupted the flesh. We still are maintaining our integrity. We still uphold the vest. We still uphold the spear, the sword, the shield, the helmet. All right? Fully furnished, ready for battle. Go ahead. Con, it says, um, and where uh, thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Where your priorities are, there will your focus be also. Right. There will your la'ab be also. Your, your mind as well. Which your focus coincides with your mind, your thought process, your, your um, contemplation. Right. Belief. Yeah. Uh, if, if I may, absolutely. Um, pretty much what that's saying is we should be obsessed with this truth. Right. Like right. we should always be thinking about this truth when, when we're at work on the plantation. This this should be the thing on our mind. Right. That not 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 uh, uh, coming up in this society, not uh, these women. Right. All right. Well, it's not wrong to like think about a woman, but that shouldn't be the the main thing that's on your mind. Right. Right. This truth should be the main thing on your mind. That's what this is saying. That's your treasure. Yeah. All right. That's what this thing of ours is about. Even even Pontius Pilate, he has a magnificent question.